Well, well, well. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to you lovely folks joining me here nice and early over at Marvel Snap Zone. Welcome on in for an update on one of our most previous popular videos surrounding infin infinity splits and how they work. A full list of them and kind of breaking down the details of how to make sure you're getting the infinity splits and variations that you want to get. And just a one-stop shop for all that information you want, might want to know about how these work. Uh, there's been quite a few changes since we uh, did this video last time, so we're just going to walk through everything we now know and hopefully give a better demonstration of what things look like, all the effects that are out there for you to see, and then give you a, a bit of information about their drop rates and how you can go about acquiring them. Uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed on the channel here, we'd really appreciate it if you did. It means this content becomes significantly more worthwhile and you won't miss anything that we put out here over at Marvel Snap Zone. So thank you so much for doing that. Infinity Splits are quite easily one of the most exciting parts of Marvel Snap for your collectors and your players. They offer a very unique way for you to have a very personal collection and bling out the decks that you play the most with artistic style glitz and glam. Sadly, they're also one of the most confusing parts of the game, with it being unclear as to how exactly you can get the variants you want, how many there are, how you acquire those, what the limiting factors are. So we're going to try and break that down for you just a little bit today. So what is an Infinity Split? Big question, first of all. Importantly, first of all, Infinity Splits are not variants. We're not talking about the different art styles you can get or different images of characters you like you can get uh, that you get in cashiers or can buy in the store. Those are very cool, but we're looking at card rarity here instead. So many people will be aware that you have seven base rarities ranging from common to infinity. Each rarity will upgrade uh, with a different amount of cost to do so. Uh, and will reward you different aesthetic changes and collection level amounts for doing so. So you see on screen we already have lovely Agatha Harkness here, who is a common. She is the bottom rarity. You start all your cards at basically all of the time. Uh, you have Uncommon the next level up. We see Crossbones here, this nice green chunky border. Uh, the art breaks out of the frame. We then make our way up to Rare. Rare is the effect that you see on Hulk here. It's a blue border and the art gains this kind of like 3D effect that comes out of the card. You can upgrade from Rare up to Epic. Epic looks like Warpath here. You'll notice that his art gains a slight animation. So he's come out of the card and is now slightly more animated with this purple border. You'll then upgrade from that up to Legendary. Legendary here is this like kind of orangey border that you see around the outside of Cosmo here. The logo of the card has now become shiny. So you'll see that Cosmo's name is now reflecting light as we move him around over the course of the video. We go from this all the way up to Ultra. Ultra is a fantastic looking rarity with this neon red -y style border that you see on Lady Sif here. Uh, so the card border has become animated on this one is the added effect you get on the end. Last but not least, maximum rarity for a card is Infinity, which you can see on Arnim Zola here. It gives it this, this kind of galactic purple border that's been added in the most recent update here all around. So these are your base rarities that you will see on cards cards like this. Now how do you upgrade them? Well you'll notice when you go onto a card, for example She-Hulk here, there's this button on the right hand side we can press that says upgrade this card to the next le uh, level and gain that many collection levels. It'll tell you how many boosters and how many credits it will require for you to do that. Most importantly however, when you gain access to an infinity level card, you upgrade it, the button won't do anything anymore. The card is at max quality. Now why is that? Because when we upgrade something to infinity, what happens is we get an infinity split and that's what we're talking about today. And Infinity Splits are these cards you see here. This is what's happened to our Captain Marvel that you can see on screen now. She gains a variation of herself made at common with a different background or effect on her. So this time around, this is kind of the rainbow effect. Very clean background. Nothing but particularly special. She hasn't been upgraded again since. But there she is with her first ever Infinity Split. Now... This is kind of confusing to some people because they know that a lot of these look different, but they do know roughly how those rarities work. However, there are different types of infinity split once you have done so. So they're always split down to common. You will always keep your infinite version of the card, but then you have ways to gain different effects and you will see many different effects on cards over the course of a game. So there are going to be four different background effects and four different particle effects. Now those are two slightly different aspects that maybe you're not familiar with. A background effect is what we call like the traditional foiling you see on a card card in other card games. They're kind of the actual background of the cards. So like Captain Marvel here, the rainbow effect that you see. It'll often 
like accentuate the art or remove it entirely to give it a completely clean rainbow style finish and uh, kind of plays into this collection based aspect. So the four backgrounds, we're going to show them all for you on screen very shortly. They are hexagon rarity or textured, uh, gold, incafi and rainbow. These four versions don't currently have any variations in them to what we know and become available at certain split levels that we'll get into in a little bit. The particle effects, however, are kind of the 3D space that a digital game has to offer you. It's the kind of thing that you uh, sadly cannot see on uh, all kinds of cards otherwise. You'll see if we look at Death here, for example, she's got a particle effect on her called Comic. You see these little swirly comets that are floating around her and this dotty effect in the background. And that's what particle effects are. They offer kind of aesthetic choices in the 3D space that a digital card game has to offer, either on top of or surrounding your card. There are currently four of these effects that we're gonna show you all of in detail as well. They are called Glimmer, Sparkle, Comic, and the Kirby Crackle. Again, those are kind of not official names. Uh, they tend to be referred to by a variety of names in the community. So we're going to break down exactly what they all look like just to make sure there is no confusion and what you're looking at in terms of uh, knowing which one you have. However, with these, most importantly, since the most recent update inside the game, there has been some different versions of these added. So you'll see that there are versions that have different colors uh, and different styles that are the same particle effect. So do keep that in mind when you open a variation. It might be different with a different color or a different style. You'll always be able to figure out what effects your card has by taking a look at the icons above in the deck builder. So you'll see at the very top of the card here, we have base card and two hexagons. And these hexagons, detailed, uh, you'll see them as we go through the cards, but they're also detailed in the article version of this video if you want to go give it a click as to which hexagon means what, so that you can indeed tell uh, what kind of card you have. Uh, it should be pretty concise one way or the other. So what does each of these splits look like? So we'll start on Rainbow. What I'm going to do for you here is actually go to the card I have the most splits of, and we should hopefully be able to uh, kind of show this one card at a time. So Rainbow here is on this copy of Angela with her particles and stuff. This is the, the cleanest finish you will see. It is very simple. Most of the background gets removed. No real texture, just a clean rainbow style background it's lovely it's very simple very simplistic and stylized um but you know very very simple very much one of the base backgrounds you're going to get uh hexagon or textured however is ever so slightly different you'll see that we have it available for us on this copy of angela here we have a slightly different background texture we have to tilt very carefully to see it these days because it has been dialed back but you'll see that in the foiling there is essentially some hexagons in the background if you look at the top of the card, when we tilt her upwards, you'll see them most cleanly. These used to be significantly more detailed and significantly more obvious, and uh, they were kind of dialed back a bit because people didn't like how bold and obvious they were, so they're now less apparent in the background, but you can see them as you tilt them, and that is the second variation of this rainbow background effect. The more rare effects, however, are gold and inkify. Now, we'll go into these in a little more detail when we look at the breakdown, but here's gold for you, first of all, on this uh, chibi version of Angela. It's one of the rarer backgrounds. It's really quick, simple, and elegant. It's a slotted gold background that really makes the character kind of pop out of the card. Um, this is the rarest split currently. Um, a lot of contention originally between whether Inkify or Gold was rarer, but this does drop at a 10% drop rate after Infinity Split number 5. So it can be quite hard to get to this one. You will need to be split 5 or higher, and at that point it appears at 10% of drop rate. We will obviously go into that in a little more detail in a little bit, but that's what Gold looks like for you there. The last background, however, is Inkify, this lovely black and white 70s movie retro comic style vibe. This one also very rare, but it is slightly more common than uh, gold because it can appear a whole split earlier. It is available from Infinity Split number 4, but it does still only drop at a 10% drop rate. So this one is still very, very hard to pick up while you're splitting away, but it's a fan favorite. The light reflects on it very, very well. Very, very pretty card in this kind of black and white aesthetic that you see here. So we'll move on to the particle effects that you might not uh, know how to differentiate between. We'll first take a look at Glimmer. So Glimmer is the effect that you see tacked onto my copy of Angela here. It's like these almost like 
birthday cake sprinkle effect that kind of spur out of the card all around, fly off in a variety of different colours. Uh, this one, however, has now been confirmed to have a variety of different types of sparkle. So I'm going to bring up some pictures on screen for you now. One will be a small video so you can kind of get an idea. We are looking for more examples of these uh, as we see them, as people open them, so that we can showcase them in the article version of this video. So if you find you have a colour that we haven't showcased, by all means, please do come and let us know but you can see here available in green available in blue and will definitely appear in a variety of different colors in terms of the sparkle effect that being said they are all the same effect they just come in a variety of different colors at this point and they look like this kind of birthday sparkle spaghetti style look that you see on the card we can then move on to Comic, uh, which we've kind of mentioned already in passing already. You'll see that Comic has many different variations as well. These kind of dots you see in the background are always going to be different colours. So they're kind of rainbowy here over on this Angela with these flying comets that are flying past her going around the card. But you saw on Death earlier on that the background was like white. Um, instead, thanks to the, the background of the card. So there are different variations of this one as well, but these little comets flying around it are the effect you should expect to see um, when it comes to this one. That's what you're looking for, uh, for the comic effect. Alrighty, so up next we have Sparkle. Sparkle is the one I have available for me on this copy of Angela here. Sparkle is an effect that is uh, kind of a much bigger effect than Glimmer. These, these are more dramatic stars that are popping off of the card and flying outwards uh, in an array instead of being the kind of like... Uh, you know, spaghetti sprinkles that we were talking about a minute ago. This is more very deliberate, kind of like various shades of pink, purples, golds, and blues. This like purple symbol at the top here with the same little stars on it is a very clean identifier of this effect. Uh, we have, of course, also found out there are more versions of this effect out there in different colors right now too. But unfortunately, I don't currently have any examples to show you to show you what else this can look like. So look for this symbol on the top right hand side of Sparkle here, and it looks like this on the card. Last but not least, we have the Kirby Crackle. The Kirby Crackle makes me sad because to this day, it is so rare that I do not have any of these. So I'm going to have to show you some lovely images that I have been able to acquire online as to what this looks like. You'll see it's kind of this um, bubble effect, almost, in a way. Uh, this one is very much named after influential artist Jack Kirby from the 1960s. It's an effect that was commonly used in superhero comics in the US to kind of embody this crackle of energy or this bubble of power. So you can kind of see this energy escaping from the car, gives it this kind of like battle-ready feel. I love the red one on the Mystique personally, but as you can see on these two lovely Angela Harknesses provided by Ben Jim Jam, there are variants of this color available as well now in the form of like gold and black as the ones that we have pictures of here. But hopefully, and I'm almost certain there are many, many anymore that we do not currently have pictures of due to how rare this split is, um, which is kind of incredible. So what exactly do we know about these splits, how rare they are, and how we go about getting them? Well, thankfully, thanks to data mined information from the team at SnapFan, we do actually have a nice tidy table that breaks all this down for you. And we're going to run through this because uh, there's tons of information here. Um, so a lot, of the, a lot of the information about exact rarities and stuff is still being kept very quiet, understandably so, because there's plenty of surprises in store for us down the line. So we don't know about certain color rarities and how likely it is to get a red Kirby Crackle and how likely it is to get a green one. We just don't have that information available to us yet. But you'll see, for example, on your very first split, you will never ever get yourself a particle effect. You're only ever going to get hexagon slash prism or the rainbow foil background. And both of those are a very equal 50-50 chance as to which one you will receive on your very first split. Your second split, however, is guaranteed to get you a particle effect on top of one of those. Now, the important thing to know here is that the previous foil you received will have no effect on whether or not the background is different or the effect is different on the next one you receive. So if you receive the foil background on your first split, you're equally still going to be 50-50 to get a foil background or a prism background, hexagon background, uh, on your second split. That doesn't change. However, the second split will offer you a 50% chance at the glimmer effect or a 50% chance at the comic effect as a uh, the two most likely effects for you to crack open on that split for split two and also for split number three. So do keep that in mind as well. Split four is where things get significantly different. You now move down to 40 
25% chances on the foil and prism, with a 10% chance of cracking an Inkify background on your fourth split, which is fantastic and of course in very, very high demand. In addition to this, the sparkle effect joins in from split number four, making all three of these effects 33% chances for you to be able to get. Uh, it means that the sparkle effect, while rarer uh, overall, because it's not available on the first three splits, is then available at the same level of rarity uh, for every split past number four. Once you reach split five, however, you find another 5% being knocked off of foil and prism to introduce the gold background so that you have the ability to access the, uh, the plain shiny gold background on your cards as of split five onwards. However, the reveal effects, the particle effects do not change. You remain a 33% chance of each of the three that you find there. Then from split six onwards, things get obviously significantly more interesting as you can finally hit that Kirby Crackle effect. You have the same percentage chances of your backgrounds, but Kirby Crackle joins in as a 10% drop rate as a particle effect at the very end, which is fantastic, but also makes it the rarest effect by a significant margin. We do know that you cannot split into an exact duplicate of a card. One element minimum will always change. This was confirmed by Steven over in the Discord, official Marvel Snap Discord, and we have a screenshot of that in the article if you're particularly interested in that source information. However, with the recent color effect updates, please do keep in mind that uh, you can, of course, open the same pair of effects with a different color on them as your split. So, for example, you could open rainbow background comic effect, and then when you split for the third time, you might get rainbow background with different colored comic effect. That is definitely possible by the looks of it. Your first split is always going to have one of the two more common backgrounds only in the form of rainbow or prism. And, uh, and no other background will be available for you. Your second split is always going to guarantee you a background or particle effect, and then Inkify can appear from four, gold from five. Remember though, these are not guaranteed. They are small drop rates, with some players reporting splitting a card as many as 11 times before finding the background they wanted. Kirby Crackle only available at split six with a 10% chance. And then the most important thing not mentioned on this graph, split levels, as in how many times you've split a card, is calculated by the character character not the art of the card, meaning if you switch to a brand new variant you like and start upgrading that variant of the card, you will not lose your progress towards these rarer and more uh, desirable effects, so do keep that one in mind. Okay, hopefully that one is a little bit more concise and a good guide to what we know about Infinity Splits so far and what they all look like if you're looking to acquire certain ones. Uh, Infinity Splits are likely to be one of the more important aspects of Marvel Snap to players who see themselves as collectors as we move forward. Having rarer, cooler, fancier versions of cards to show off to your friends and batter your opponents with uh, that can only be acquired by playing regularly and splitting your favourites is, in my opinion, a pretty fantastic model that rewards aspects of the game the second in a field are very important. Play it consistently and have a unique collection to uh, be personalized and hard to find. But let me know what you think. If you've got any cool variants you want to show me or versions that we haven't been able to show in this video, do contact us either on Twitter or over at Marvel Snap Zone. Come and visit our community Discord with thousands of other Marvel Snap players in the description box down below. Or you can drop me a line personally on Twitter as well at HowlingMind and show me all your shiny goodies and talk snap however you may wish. However, until next time, I have been Howling Minds, you have been amazing, and this has been your full guide to infinity splits and how they work.